Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Gary, and I am creating this GoFundMe page because I am in need of financial assistance, mainly in need of um, to pay my monthly bills. Um, you know, and I know that there are so many people out there with probably so many problems, um, and many that are probably much worse. Uh, I, I still feel that mine shouldn't be ignored uh, because I do have a son, a newborn son. Well, not newborn. He was, he's like eight, nine months now. But for me in my life, you know, I've never had kids. So it's like, it's, I, I, he feels like a newborn to me. And, um, you know, I, uh, I, uh, we just, we need help. You know, we need help. I've, my wife right now, she's in school. She's starting to become a nurse. She has maybe, um, uh, three or four months left and obviously once that happens then financially we'll definitely be a lot more secure but um but getting to that point in these last you know few months has been a very much of a struggle um i am a college educated individual i was a biology teacher for about eight years i worked in economically impoverished areas and um, i left back in 2020 I, I left teaching. I was at that time. I was pursuing something that I was uh, making significantly more money, and uh, also because of the coronavirus. But it was a couple different things that kind of all you know worked together at once, and it it, it in, in turn benefited me. Uh, but after that, I'd say by the time twenty twenty one start, I had a string of some unfortunate events, some um, unfortunate financial issues. Uh, my father passed away. Uh, my wife got pregnant with my son, and and you know late. Um, October, only two months after my father died, and definitely a lot of life changes. Uh, 2022 seemed to be like a neutral year, um, you know, getting over some hurdles, mainly economic hurdles, um, and also uh, the birth of my son, and, you know, raising him and understanding what it means to be a father. And, um, you know, we've made it now up until this point, uh, the date of this video, which is April uh, 14th, 2023. And um, no, some things have amounted. And, um, you know, I'm very concerned that um, my energy bill, my electric bill is going to be shut off. Um, and uh, I won't have money to pay it. And um, there's other things too, though. I have um, some backed property taxes when my father passed, he left me his property. He didn't leave me really any money or any financial uh, ability to pay it. And this is also my childhood home that I've lived in since I was a kid. But, um, you know, there's been a, a, a large burden of having to take care of that and trying to balance my wife at school, my son here, you know, trying to make a living and still be home. It's been very, very difficult. And I have been able to do it actually a lot longer than I probably ever thought I would be able to, um, you know, prior. If you would ask me this question like, you know, three or four years ago, I'd probably be like, oh, no, I'd never be able to do that. But I've been able to do it uh, miraculously. But um, I, uh, I think things are catching up and, um, uh, you know, Definitely, definitely for this weekend, uh, you know, this, I have a $450 electric bill that's due. They also want me to pay an $800 deposit, which I don't know why, but this is, I live in Florida, so IFPL is our electric company, but they require a deposit if you've been late or if you've had your power cut off too many times in a year, then they require you to pay a deposit. I think it's like the equivalent of, um, uh, two months worth or something like that. It's eight ninety three. I think it's the full deposit amount that my bill is usually about four fifty or something like that, four forty four. So, but um, but yeah, but that uh, coupled with the standard four fifty bill, um, and then now it's April coming up, so I have property tax. I have delinquent property tax from the year of um uh, twenty twenty that haven't been paid. And now, uh, is it 2020 or is it 20, no, from 2021 that haven't been paid? And now 2022's taxes are going to be due, and that's going to end up putting a lien on my property. So, you know, I put an amount of $5,000, which the property tax is really more than that. It's like for two years or 6000 and the electric bill is an additional, you know, well, probably like twelve, thirteen hundred bucks. So really, it's like seven thousand three hundred. But honestly, I'd be happy, um, you know, with with anything at all. But uh, my 
my main hope would be to at least get the money to pay for this electric build and that'll at least extend that out for a little bit you know anything helps um you know and here this is this is my son right here so this is my son gary jr well actually he's gary gary the <laughs> third so you know and uh you know he's um he's the reason why you know i'm i'm really reaching out to you guys because um you know i i feel like i uh cannot provide in in the way that i'd like to be able to and um you know i feel like maybe there's somebody else out there that at least for this particular instance in this particular moment uh that could help us out help him out definitely help me out for sure and um, somebody that, you know, maybe it's you're in a financial situation where money is not, you know, as much of an option as it is. I've been there before. There was a time when I was making, you know, over $1,000 a day for an extended period of time. And I know how it is, you know, to have money on hand where it's, you know, finance is just not an option that 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 um, reframes you from being able to do anything. I've, I've experienced that before, so I know what it is. Uh, unfortunately, right now I'm on the opposite end of that. And um and I need uh, – no, I need I need help. I need help. If you are somebody out there that has that capability and this message means anything to you, um, if you're interested in just helping out a person out there, a random person in the world, I've done it before. Um, you know, but um, but if, if it's something that you feel like you could do, definitely help us out because, you know, we need it. And um, it's it's a scary thought, you know. It's scary when you don't know, um, you know, if your power gets cut off. You know, what are you gonna do? Um, you know, I've had resources help me, but I think I've extinguished those resources. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be coming on here. But um, but again, anything would help. Um, you know, a, a dollar would help. It's a dollar more than what I would have had uh, had I not created this page. Um, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you can do, if anything, and even you reading this, I, I appreciate that because at least you took the time to even listen to what I have to say. So I thank you for that. Um, I'm, I don't know if I can leave my contact information or not, uh, but I'll leave it in there. If, um, uh, you want to contact me about anything, if, you know, if you just anything that you want to give a donation, you feel like you need to see something for verification, I'd be more than willing to show that to you. Um, so yes, so um, so again, I, I thank you guys out there, and I just hope that um, this message reaches whoever uh, whoever has it in their hearts uh, to be able to do this, and of course, uh, financial stability more than what I have at this point in my life. So, okay, we thank you. We want to say goodbye, Junior. Say goodbye to the people out there. <laughs> what you got in your mouth, Juki? No, don't take that. No, no, you get in there. <laughs> oh, no, take it, take it, take it here, take it. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> yeah, no, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you never, you never want to say no to him, especially when he does that. So anyways, oh, let me turn on the lights so you guys can see us better. So anyways, guys, okay, listen, we thank you very much, and we love you. Say goodbye. Bye. Contact me if you need anything, any information. I'd be more than happy to provide it. Um, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care.